Hello everyone, uh, this is a very quick Doctor Who news video, um, which will probably be coming a, a few days late as the news will probably be quite old when we <laughs> when this video eventually goes out, but it's fine. Um, we have had, after months of blurry, blurry set images, we have finally had confirmation of the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Yay! Hooray! It's what everyone wanted. Um, so I guess to start this whole like, news cycle off, they uh, released four character posters um, for the 14th and 15th Doctor, as well as Donna and uh, Ruby Sunday. Um, obviously, that's David Tennant, Shooting Cat, Donna, uh, Donna Noble, Catherine Tate, uh, and <laughs> Millie Gibson. Um, She's so become all uh, nice and fancy. <laughs> they were very oh, nice. Really not surprised. She has become a character, and they were they were very nice. They were very um, shiny. They were very bright. Shiny. Um, how much you know they're all in the same style it'll be interesting to see how they whether they just felt like they had to do shooties one at the same time as david tennant especially with shooty being in barbie and probably getting a bit of bit of the press maybe they want to get a bit more coverage for that and get on the on that train while he's going yeah. um because you know in as far as we're aware shooty doesn't have too much to play in the 60th but he might he might he might you know he might turn out that he's actually Half the episodes are spent with his Depends software. who you we listen to in the interviews, I suppose. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so that happened uh, on uh, Tuesday. On Tuesday, and we were like, oh, great, that's great. When was that's it? So when was it? I know. Um, so much And then happened. yesterday, I know, yesterday at time of recording, uh, they released uh, a very fancy video on the new Sonic Screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was so dramatic. <laughs> They, um, got more of a, they made a bigger deal of 14 Sonic than Shooty's casting, and I just find that I so know. funny. I know it's because you don't have to schedule in. You don't have to schedule in time to film to film a prop, do you? You don't like have no, to book it in advance so and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, it was such a fancy graphic, and they they put out a put out a picture of it uh, afterwards, and then today at time of recording, it went on sale. Um, which we'll talk about uh, the little toy went on sale, which I think we'll, we'll hit on a bit as well. Um, so this this screwdriver is it's interesting to me um, in terms of what uh, what it looks like and who's who's it seems to reference and what that could mean for the character. Um, so we've got seemingly elements of the ninth slash tenth Doctor's Sonic in sort of the the marbly bit, the main yeah the main handly bit. Uh, the end bit, someone's been like, oh, that could be, it's either reminiscent of the 11th Doctors or someone's been like, oh, it could be the laser screwdriver, which would be a strange thing to put into the sort of screwdriver, but, you know, it's yeah. snazzy. Um, and then also the way it sort of pops up uh, with the prongs is very 11th Doctor-esque uh, yeah. and sort of the, the blueness of that as well is sort of very reminiscent of the, the 12th Doctor Sonic as well. Mm. Um, the black stripe on it is just like 11s. Sonic, Sonic screwdriver. Well. Yes, yeah. So it's all it's all interesting. It's another one of those where it sort of opens and it goes, it, you know, pops up and it's like a almost like a uh, like a triangle type thing with the Sonic bit in the middle. Um, and it mm. seems, judging by the video, that it lights up on all four points, like on all three of the ones that yes. come out on the main one. Um, so I mean, it very it definitely looks interesting. What are your sort of immediate thoughts of it? Is it too busy? Or is it, you know, especially because the last one was just a rod, basically? Yeah, um, I like it. I, I think the only thing that screams like over-designed to me is the bit sticking out. I, th I think, yeah, I just think where they are on the actual thing is a bit odd. Um, mm. If they're like at the top, I'm like, I guess that makes sense. But also that's quite 11 screwdriver, so you don't yeah, want to repeat. Like halfway down. Or maybe it? you do, because this seems to be a, a merging of all of mm. them. But, um so yeah, it, it's a strange placement there. I, I, I think that's a bit odd, um, and I think the actual like base, for my taste, is a bit thick. Um, mm -hmm. I normally like them big, I like them chunky, but yeah. um, Moto Moto uh, would like this one yeah. screwdriver. Yeah. Um, but just when it was only when people kind of compared them to the, the other ones, like wow, that's a big boy. Um, mm. But you know, that's kind of a personal thing. But everything else, I think, particularly at the top half, I really really like. Um, you know, I think it kind of evokes a bit of um, Capaldi's screwdriver, um, mm -hmm. kind of mixed with the colour of Jodie's in a way. 
Um, but yeah, I, I do think what's more interesting about it rather than how it looks is what it might mean for um, 14 and the story mm. and beyond. Um, maybe it is just like a fun 60th reference kind of deal, which would also make sense. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like the question of, is Shooter going to have this one as well? Are we going to get mm -hmm. a, a new design all over again for that? Um, you know, they're not against doing one-off screwdrivers because the War Doctor got one. So, you know, it might just be for the specials. It might carry on like, you know, D uh, David having Chris's and um, Peter having Matt's for his first season. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, as a design goes, I, th I think it's solid. It works. Um, I actually think it looks better as the prop uh, rather than the toy. Um yeah which is nice because that's, you know, kind of the one that's going to really mm -hmm. show off. Um, but also there might be different variations of the toy. So who even knows anymore? But I, apart from the sticky outfits, I really like how it looks. Um, I do think it, it's nice that they've kind of merged a lot of different screwdrivers together for the sick this specials. But yeah, what it might represent um, maybe gets me more excited than the thing itself. Yeah, it is, um, it's definitely certainly strange in the the only pictures they showed was where it was all like sticking out and i was like i hope it i hope it goes back in because it kind of didn't in there because it was a static image they released that i really saw mm. and i was like mm, that's pretty bulky to carry around but it does sort of condense a little bit but it's still a you know pretty big um yeah. but you're right russell only introduced one sonic and he kept it throughout his original first run so it could be that he keeps this one i can't i'm i mean i don't know if they were but it would make sense to have everything fresh for yeah just for shooters. because it's such a reference to older ones i would like shooting mm. to get something completely new yes i mean it would depend because there's questions around the tardis as well whether the tardis that they're going to be using in the 60th will be the same design as the one that's going to be moving on from that one and i think if they keep the tardis they'll probably keep the screwdriver um yeah. but who knows that it's it's only a prop so they could easily change it out if they wanted to um yeah, there's no, you know, it's it'll be interesting to see how this one comes about to start with because traditionally they come from the TARDIS. Obviously, mm. thirteen built built her own, I think, in the first episode, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it so, cool. yeah. So, is it, you know, how's it going to come up? Is it going to find loads of bits of a Sonic in the TARDIS and just sort of put them together because that kind of seems how it looks at the minute. Um, mm. Or does the TARDIS see get confused and be like, but you're this doctor, but you're not that one, but then you're, you know, and it maybe it gets confused and tries to give it what it thinks. Yeah. Who's Sonic do one? Yes. That's yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, it, it certainly looks interesting. And I know there was a lot of criticism, shall we say, of J Jody's use of the Sonic. Um, so it would also be interesting to see how it is used and if it's used as frequently or at least as dramatically sure is that the best word um yeah because obviously jody had the you very... stopped doing that after the first season as well and people still kind of yes i know i know but that's i guess that's how much how much it was used how big of a deal it was when it was used is that that's what people tend to remember also probably means that people stop watching it after the first season and that's all they remember um but crazy. you know um, so it'd be interesting to see how much it is used because you know the doctor goes through phases of using it loads and not using it you know peter capaldi had a habit of pretty much I don't think he used the Sonic like very often in his last season. It was mainly the sunglasses, yeah. wasn't it? Hmm. So sunglasses who knows? Series, but they still had to make they still had to make the toy. So he had to use it at least a couple of times. So yeah, they a lot of people are saying like oh, they should just get rid of the Sonic altogether like they did with five. Mm. And I'm like, they're never gonna do that because they're gonna Money. make a toy. They're never going yeah. to do that. And if they no, do, they'll they'll he'll have something else Sonic yeah. to make instead. Oh yeah, a hundred percent they'll they have to replace something because kids want kids want to pretend to be that person and the best way to make that person is to have something you can be obviously mm -hmm. you know clothes are pretty inaccessible and they can be a bit of a pain to find whereas if you can just get a easily accessible toy that you know is available on the shelf then great it's a lot easier to pretend um however we will speak about how easily available this toy may be um it's already sold out <laughs> Yes, because I I looked at the I looked at the release that Doctor Who put out, and it seems like this first toy is a sort of collector's edition, limited edition one. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting why they've done that. Maybe they only had a certain amount they could produce so soon to get out, and then they'll do yeah. that. Or maybe this is it's more like of a, a, the box set of Jodie and 
David their figures yes. as well. Yeah, I mean, but but then at the same time, if you're just going to produce another version, I, I'd be interested to see what the differences are going to be and what makes this one a whopping thirty pounds. Why this is yeah. apparently the only one. difference is going to be like the chrome effect on the metal. Um, so, so which is so weird because it, it seems then. like it seems like the standard one is actually going to be more screen accurate because it's not really that shiny. So it's an odd way round that they've done it. But yeah, I mean, for all we know, it might be because inflation and budget and stuff. The standard one might also be like thirty quid for you know. It might just be well. Like that's it. I think um, exclusive. You know, for Chrome or I don't know. Yeah, they tend they tend to be. I think Jody's was about fifteen, uh, yeah, but that was like obviously that. twenty what twenty eighteen. 2017 so and i got that from argos and you don't see any argos around here anymore no exactly and um you know so there's an argument that they could have gone up but yeah it it was pretty popular you know i managed to get on it the character website straight away to see the price and i went no Mm. and left but then i couldn't get it on it in the rest of the day because they had too much demand for it um which is interesting that obviously shows the level of interest there is in the very least this doctor um or it shows that people are just desperate to get it so they can sell it on for more money which there's only a lot of ebay listings uh, i've seen yes i think so screwdrivers they are just popular anyway i think the sonic toys aren't they oh yeah 100 percent. but it's it's an interesting one that the doctor's not even been seen on screen yet yet people are still buying that up to sort of have it um because the episodes might come out and they go go, oh no this is actually the worst the worst we've ever had well yeah exactly we know that for sure um but that'll be it so it's it'll be interesting i think i'd probably get it just so that i've because i've got the other ones i can't not i have to keep getting them now i'm just in that hole um mm-hmm. but i don't know if it would be painful to pay 30 pounds for it um yeah. if, if it's, it's less than 20 money. i'll get i'll get the standard one but if it's more than yeah. that, i won't bother um we don't know when that'll be yet because that you know they've this is only the collector's one i think it's because it's clearly oh well, I think if reading between the lines, they obviously wanted something exclusive for Comic Con at their yeah. booth. Uh, and this is what they came up with. So they had to do the reveal yesterday so mm. that when people turn up to Comic Con, I think from today, from maybe today or tomorrow, I think it's Yeah, I saw day. people posting that they bought them on Twitter, like posting photos of it and stuff. Yeah. So they clearly wanted something exclusive to sell there and then they the leftover stock because maybe they don't maybe they're not anticipating as many people due to certain strikes going on in america at the minute it means that comic con is mm. probably going to be greatly impacted by big attendees and announcements yeah. um so maybe there's just something in that maybe they just wanted an exclusive thing and they figured they might as well just get rid of the surplus stock um but who knows i'll, I'll probably buy it at some point um and yeah it's, it's intriguing to say They'll probably wait closer till like novemberish time before they roll out the standard yeah. ones i'd expect so they'd want that to yeah. be a big christmas seller i'm sure yeah definitely i mean i was reading uh doctor who magazine today and um in their production notes they said that they get they do i think one day a year maybe where they get like all the different partners so they would say like you know big finish character options they all come down to the bad wolf studios and they watch the upcoming episodes and they get an overview of what's going to be going on so they kind of know how to tie things in so yeah. That bodes well for new things coming up. You know, some people might have ideas of what they want to do, of new books, new audios, new toys that are coming out. If we um, get a new Battles in Time, it's over for me. <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. That'll be the end. That's the only thing that I want coming back. Don't care about anything else. Just bring back the trade cards. Battles in Time too. You could do them all up again. Good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it, it'll be interesting to see what comes out. This is the first, I guess, new merchandise we've seen for the new, for the new era. Uh, if you don't count the books that they've announced for the yeah. the, the, the years um, ones 14 figure yes yeah well that's that's only the one that came in the box with everyone else wasn't it that's more of a jody yeah yeah more of a power of the doctor one that one than than moving forwards so this is the first sort yeah. of thing we've got so it'd be interesting to see how, what and how soon we get character you know models for Donna and Beep the Meep. I'm hoping for that Beep the Meep plush. That would be yeah. great. Um, that's Have all I want. One life. Catherine Tate over and she's given them permission again because she revoked her permission after that first one. Oh, oh dear. Maybe I mean maybe she seems pretty. You know she might be pretty up for it now. I think she's hyped oh, yes, enough fine. to come back to be like, ah, oh, just screw it, just make one. Yeah, and then they'll do it. And she'll go. I'm never doing this again. Never doing this again. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, they made um, a wedding dress Donna and they never could release it because she said no. 
God, maybe maybe that's what it'll be. Maybe that's the next one. They won her over, and they're finally gonna release it. Yeah, fine. yeah B and M will be like, with, uh, <laughs> we can yeah, use and it'll be, now. it'll be it'll be the Donna in in the wedding dress, and it'll be David Tennant in the raggedy suit again that was in like all of his sets so far, and that'll be it. It'll be those two. <laughs> yeah. That, no more. You'll maybe get no. You won't even get. You'll get a Lance figure as well. You won't even get like a robot, a robot soldier or a Ragnos. It'll be Lance, and that'll be it. You'll that, get all the PC tree. Andy from Torchwood. Yeah, and he's in everything. Nyanto's ghost. Yeah, you can probably already get there anyway. Maybe probably already action figures there. from Torchwood. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I want. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything too much more to say about about this. It, it looks interesting. I'm I'm interested to see what it's going to be on screen. Um, mm-hmm. And hopefully, it it plays a good part, and it's not like, yay, and then destroyed in the first five minutes. That would be, be very very funny. funny though. All those it, people it, that fucked I mean, out yeah. thirty quid. <laughs> yeah. To get uh, that a it, less accurate version, and then be yeah. something that just explodes in five minutes. Yeah, but it would also be interesting to see how they, if they explain what happened to Jody's Sonic. Um, because I don't, uh, obviously in the episode, you don't really see what happens to it. As far as you're aware, it's still on their person. And yeah. in the in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip they've been doing, which has been labelled as the 14th Doctor's first adventure, so they're claiming it's canon, um, it gets destroyed by some Daleks. So right. whether they reference that, whether, you know, something happens... or whether I can we see just that maybe in... being part of the Star Beast novelization. Maybe there'll be... That yes, that, that's true. Yeah, because that's the other thing that that actually was announced um, since we last the thing was um, some more target novelizations. Yay! That's all we want. Um, they announced some target novels for the three sixtieth specials. Um, no, no cover titles. Uh, uh, no cover covers of them yet for obvious reasons. Um, Imagine but, it's full of, <laughs> I should never know. Um, but Russell said, you know, there's there's stuff in there. There's backstories and jokes and all sorts that was cut on the floor that they've sort of put in these novels. Um, mm. So it'll be interesting to see what length they are. They tend to be around 200 pages and how dif- different they are to the episodes when they air. They're coming out in January. Um, mm. It also makes you wonder if they're going to be planning more of these to release soon after episodes actually air. Um, and whether that's the format they're going to try and take moving forwards, because they've mm. kind of been more in batches every year for the old stories, yeah. um, uh, old stories um, for previous stories. So it'd be interesting to see if they now move to a more, I don't know, end of series release for certain episodes, whether they do all of them, or if they wait and see if people like certain episodes more, and then do them. But I mean, that's fun. I enjoy the Target novels. I recently read the new Planet of the Ud one, and that one was was pretty good. I, I really enjoyed that one for an episode that's pretty underrated, I'd say, in a lot of mm-hmm. circles. People don't tend to talk about it. It was uh, a novelization that did add. Yeah, the circle must be broken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drink, drink, take a shot every time they say circle. My God. Uh, silly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, that one was good. So if they continue in the same vein as them, obviously, I think they're different writers than what wrote the episode, because I think Russell wrote the episode, but these are written by three different people. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what spin they put on it. Obviously, they're novel writers rather than script writers, so they can probably sort of push it into that that sphere a bit better. Um, it would spin. Oh, oh, oh. The hits um, keep coming. I know. Just thinking of that poor Rude that's still stuck in the uh, stuck between universes um, oh, in divisions. Yeah. In divisions, a uh, little little lab. He likes having the place to yeah. himself. He's going to come back. He's going to come back at the end of Shooty's first series and be like, you left me there, Doctor. That's in your Patrick Harris is playing. Oh, could you imagine? It's like the reverse Halpern where he turns into a nude. The nude's taking the thing and just turns back yeah. to human. He has anti use to <laughs> God, could you imagine? Um, well, there you go. There's a tangent you probably weren't expecting from a Sonic Screwdriver talk video. Um, True. Neil Patrick Harris is a nude. Yeah. Um I always said it. But yeah, that's it. You know, there's been so much revealed. Um, I felt that, you know, the Sonic Screwdriver is a fairly big thing in the Doctor Who um, universe that sort of deserves speaking about. And we'll probably do the same whenever we get a glimpse of the new TARDIS, uh, whenever that will officially be. That's kind of like the next thing, if they want to yeah. show something off from the show. Um, yeah. No one knows what it looks like. 
No, nobody's seen any. any no one saw no, any. No, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing on the internet if you wanted to have a look and see if you could find something. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it is Comic Con this weekend. Doctor Who does not have a panel there, but that's not to say that they might not be a bit more. They might put something out. It is also the Women's World Cup uh, started today, so they could want to. That's on BBC and ITV, so they might want to put the trailer out mm-hmm. when people are watching that, uh, maybe later down the line. But it is only what four, three, four months to go, almost dead four on months, when yeah. this video goes out. It'll be four months, so mm-hmm. it's getting closer. It's but I mean, I was reading something Stephen Moffat said, uh, he said it ages ago, but I was reading it the other day. Um, and they didn't reveal the title of Day of the Doctor until September of the same year, so yeah. People just need to chill out. People just need to not worry too much because that was two months before the episode aired, and we already know what the names are for these three specials. Mm-hmm. We already know who's going to be in it. So I think I think we're all fine. I think we can deal with not too much news in the next couple of months. But saying that, they'll probably announce like everyone in next week. Probably. So, never mind. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be it uh, for now, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Okay.